Today, we'll be going through the process of automating a portion of our trading using the Thinkorswim platform. Most traders on Thinkorswim don't even realize it's possible to create a trade based on a study parameter or on a crossover, but that is exactly what we'll be doing in today's video. For this one, we will be using a fairly simple example, submitting an order to buy and then sell the stock whenever there's a crossover on the RSI. If we were to come over here and take a look at my chart for just a second, we are going to be specifically using this indicator right down here below. And what we'll be doing is creating an order ticket to buy the stock whenever the RSI crosses back above the 30 line. So right here we can see the RSI was below 30, and then as soon as it crosses back above that 30 line, I want to submit a buy order. After that, once it's bought, I then want to sell the stock when the opposite occurs. So in this case, we can see after it crosses above 30, the RSI starts to trend upwards and eventually it crosses above the 70 line. So in this example, I would want to sell that stock when it crosses back below the 70 line. But just remember, you can use any study or any combination of studies that you want, but this is our example for today. This is really just to get you thinking about what's possible to do in here. Using this crossover alone to activate a trade isn't going to make a whole lot of sense. But please, don't get too overwhelmed if it does seem confusing. That is completely normal. It is a lot to take in, but it is worth learning. But in order to begin, we are going to have to start by building out our buy ticket. And we can do that by coming up here to the very top of our screen and simply clicking on the last traded price of the stock. So in this case, the last traded price of Apple is 155.85. And as soon as I click on that, We'll then get a little menu popped up here down below and all I have to do is find and click on the button right up here at the top that currently says buy. That will then automatically build out an order ticket to buy the stock right here at the bottom of our chart. If this was going to be a standard order ticket, we would then just fill out the number of shares we intended to buy, the price we wanted to pay, the order type we wanted to use, and then how long we wanted the order good for. But in order for us to add a study condition, we're going to need to start by coming over here to the far right hand side of the order ticket and clicking on this little settings icon. The window that then pops up over here on the left is where we can now add our more advanced conditions. These conditions could be based on time, on price, or in our case, a study crossover. In order to begin, we are going to need to come to the conditions section right here in the middle of the screen and then find and click on the little empty box below the word symbol. It'll automatically load the symbol of the stock that we're currently trading, which makes sense. We do want to use the RSI crossover on Apple, but you could technically base this trade off another stock symbol if you wanted to. But after that, we'll then come over here to the right to the method box and go ahead and click in that box next. And here we can now specify that we want to base this condition off of a study. So right here at the bottom where it currently says study, and then over here on the right, if we wanted to start fresh, we'll come over here and hit the edit button. That'll then open up a window that you might have seen before if you've ever made a scan within here, and it's where we're going to be able to add our study parameters, where we can now specify exactly what we want to happen before the order gets submitted. At the moment, we can see there is already something in here. So in order to start fresh, let's go ahead and come up here and delete what is currently in here just by hitting delete. Then in order to begin by adding our conditions, we'll come over here on the left hand side and hit the add a condition button. That'll then open up the edit condition window where we can now begin by coming up here to the very top and selecting the condition. Remember, it is going to be a study condition. For this opening trade, we're going to be specifically looking for the RSI to cross above 30. So we're going to be looking for the RSI. We'll just search for it at the very top up here. I can then find and click on it down below. That will then automatically load the default parameters for the RSI over here on the left hand side. And right now I do want to keep it as the default. But if you wanted to adjust anything, this is where you would do it. The next thing I need to do is specify what I'm looking for, and I'm looking for the RSI to cross above. So right here in the middle, we'll select crosses above. I can then come to the right and specify what I'm looking for it to cross above. And in this case, this is going to be a value condition. I'll go ahead and select value. And I am specifically looking for it to cross above the value of 30. So we'll go ahead and adjust this from 100 to 30. 
Now that that's done, I can come down here below and hit the save button. And right here in the conditions window, we can see our current parameter. The only thing that we're looking for is the RSI to cross above 30. But right here in the lower left where it says add a condition, we could also add additional parameters if we wanted to. But in my case, I'm happy with it, so I'm going to leave it set to just the RSI. And the only other thing that I needed to do is adjust the time frame that this study is referencing. So in this case, if we were to come up to the very top, right now it is referencing a daily chart. But if I were to click on that, I could now come down here below and adjust it to the 15 minute chart. Now that I'm happy with that, I can come down here below and hit the OK button. And now that study crossover parameter has been added to our order ticket. It's now saying that the RSI has to cross above 30 before this order above is submitted. But since I have no idea what Apple's going to be trading for whenever the RSI crosses back above 30, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense at the moment. So what I'm going to do to simplify this quite a bit is just come up here to where it says limit and flip this instead over to a market order. We could also come down here below in the description section if I scroll down just a little bit. And right here it's going to describe exactly what it is this order is looking for. It says we're going to be submitting the following order to buy one share of Apple at the market price, but it's going to wait for this to happen first. So right here it's saying that the Apple RSI has to cross above 30 on the 15 minute chart before the order is submitted up here above. And since that is exactly what I want to do, I'm going to come down here to the lower right and hit the save button. And now if I wanted to place that, I could come down here to the lower right and hit confirm and send. But in my case, since I also wanted to put in the closing trade along with this, I'm going to come over here to the far left hand side where it currently says advanced order single. Go ahead and click on that. And within the menu above, I'm actually going to flip this over to a first trigger sequence order. So that's going to mean the first order once it fills, the order to buy the stock, once that order fills, I then want to put out the order to sell the stock. I could add that sell order by simply coming down here anywhere on the green line of my order ticket and simply right clicking on that. Then within the menu to the right, I could actually select create opposite order or I could come back above to the last traded price of the stock, 155.85. And within the menu below, instead of clicking the buy button again, we're going to click the sell button. That will then add the sell order down here below. And by coming over here to the far right hand side of the order ticket, we can again click on the settings menu. And for this one, what I want to do is submit the sell order whenever the RSI crosses back below the 70 line. So just like before, we're going to come to the condition section. Go ahead and click in the box below symbol. Come to the right and click on the empty box below method. And we're going to again use the study parameter. We're going to edit it to start fresh. We'll need to delete whatever's in here. So let's go ahead and delete that. And again, we're going to start by adding a brand new condition. Going through this a little bit faster this time. We're again looking for a study condition. It is the RSI study. So we'll go ahead and find it in the list below. Go ahead and leave it as the default. And this time coming to the right, I'm looking for it to cross below the value, so value condition, of 70. Once that's done, we'll come down here below and hit the save button. And again, the only other thing I have to do within this little menu here is flip this over from a daily chart to a 15 minute chart. I can then come back below and hit the OK button. And just like before, I want to submit a market order whenever that condition is met. Now in order to lock it in, we'll just come down here below and hit save. And now in order to place this, we will just come down below and hit the confirm button and then hit send one more time in order to actually place it. Once placed, in order to keep track of it, we can actually see it right up here above on our chart, both our opening trade to buy the stock as well as our closing trade to sell the stock. But also by coming over here to the monitor page, and specifically looking in the working order section. So right here is the opening trade to buy the stock. And then once that fills, it'll activate this order to go out there. You could also check on the settings or the conditions that we use by coming over here to the far right and clicking on the little gear icon right here. And now just like before, it gives us the same little window describing what it is this order is looking for. 
So it's looking for the RSI to cross back above 30 on a 15 minute chart before the order is submitted to buy the stock. And if we were to look at the same thing on the sell side, we would see a very similar condition. And again, if we go back to the chart, just as a reminder what this is looking for, it's looking for a condition like this to buy it. And then once we buy it, a condition like this crossing back below 70 before it's sold. But that's how we can create a much more advanced order within the Thinkorswim platform. And again, you can base these trades off of nearly any type of condition or indicator. Hopefully after all that, you at least feel a little bit more comfortable with the process, but if not, that is totally understandable. For those of you who are still interested in learning more about this platform, you might find this next video helpful as well. But otherwise, I hope you all have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you on the next one.